much more convincing. Oh, it's a fantastic hit. He's onto that quickly, almost as if he felt the short pitcher had to come. And he's hit it hard and flat. There's a guy out there, what, five yards from where the ball was? Never moved a muscle, just had a look for it. And then heard it against the boards. Yes, I think even Hoggard there was impressed in a way. Beautiful, clean strike. Oh, he really is such a natural hitter of a cricket ball. He... Great eye-hand coordination. Two forty-two for four. That is very classical. It's a perfect use of the feet. Stays nicely in the stroke and makes sure that he hits right through the line of the ball. See, the head doesn't move up and down too much either. It's it's a glide. That's gone again. Just for four, though, this time. Man back on the pull shot. Fine leg, deep back with square leg. Astle picks the gap perfectly. It's a deliberate attempt at a bouncer to get him hooking down uh, deep back with square throat, but there's a lot of control. He's swung inside it with the body, rolled the wrists on it. That's gone too. This time in front of square. An even better stroke. Magnificence of Astel is uh, evident in the last half an hour. Collard, absolutely collared here, Andy Caddick. Nathan Astel is reading him at the moment like a book. It's uh, almost ahead of what Caddick is thinking. Oh, that's a beamer. That must have slipped. And uh, apology, a no ball, and a reaction from Astle that cannot be repeated. That's the nastiest of all. That's a horrific height to cop one at. Really is. I'm sure. Uh, oh man, that is. That's the most terrible feeling you can have in cricket as a batsman. It's a split second where you think you're going to get cleaned up at pace. And a half folly, it's almost a, an apology in itself to make up for it. And Ashton will get three. And there it is, uh, Billy Bowden says, we're out of here. 20 minute break with New Zealand, 270 for six. It's been another entertaining couple of hours with Astle racing through to 83. Along the way, he lost to Fleming, 48, and McMillan, 24, and Perori, 1. 26 overs, 130 runs in the session, and five runs per over to boot. Here's Ashley Giles, who's over the wicket attack into uh, the rough and the leg stump area of Nathan Astle. Caused all sorts of mixed tremors and reactions before T. What he's actually saying to Astle is, if you want to take us on, you're going to have to take a risk. Unless, of course, I bowl you some half volleys. In which case, your timing is beyond me and beyond most other players in the world. It's uh, tended to be regarded, this sort of bowling over the wicket by a left-arm spinner, as a, a defensive negative ploy. And sometimes I think you can fall into the uh, trap of uh, just putting the ball rather than actually bowling it and trying to spin it. Nestle uh, putting that to easy half volley away. He's uh, made this innings look so easy. 88 now, just 12 short of his eighth test century. And he's gone to 3,000 test runs, Martin. And they haven't been dull, have they? That average climbing all the time. Nice to 156, not out.
Looking at Nathan Astle's 3,000th test run, it's also worth looking at that list. I think I'd better do this little bit of analysis. Keep the guy on my left quiet because he's top of that list as uh, the highest run getter in the history of New Zealand cricket. John Wright behind him. Then Stephen Fleming, which is uh, interesting, ahead of guys like uh, John Reid. Of course, he's played more tests than Reid. It's interesting to see Hadley up there as well. Then Turner, 41 tests, just behind Nathan Assel. Andrew Jones, what an underrated cricketer he was. And also on that list, again, most interestingly, Chris Cairns, who sadly we won't see for the rest of the series. And then with an average of 40, the great Bert Sutcliffe. Excellent play. Excellent play. It's just so controlled. He's really just doing as he pleases with every English bowler. This is not an easy shot because you're hitting slightly against the turn. It's the on drive, which means you've got to clear your hip out of the way. 